Rising News Wrap. My name is Jason Amu. Coming up, Zura Polidikashvili secures overwhelming second term mandate. Seychelles is open to all visitors and Ghana rejects BA's Accra Gatwick Road. The Executive Council of the World Tourism Organization has expressed its continuous support for Secretary General Zura Polilikashvili. Meeting in Madrid, its members nominated him to continue leading the United Nations Specialized Agency for four more years. At the end of 113 session of the Executive Council, held as a hybrid event in the Spanish capital, members voted in person and in secret for their choice of leader for 2022 to 2025. Incumbent Polilikashvili won 76% of the votes in the process, where the Kingdom of Bahrain also put forward a candidate for the position, Shaikh Amai Bint Mohammed Al Khalifa. Mr. Polilikashvili had based his campaign for re-election both on the progressive institutional and policy reforms undertaken during his first term and on his clear leadership of global tourism throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. The Executive Council's recommendation will be carried forward to the 24th session of the UNWTO General Assembly due to be held in Marrakesh, Morocco towards the end of the year. In Madrid, both the President of the Government of Spain, Pedro Sanchez, and His Majesty King Felipe VI expressed their support for UNWTO and its leadership. The Secretary General has also laid the foundations for seizing the momentum of the rollout of vaccines to ensure a harmonized approach to the return of safe and seamless international travel. The Indian Ocean Archipelago Island of Seychelles has revealed its entry requirement procedures to be more accessible for potential visitors as part of the restart of its tourism activities for 2021 and beyond. The new measures are to be implemented in two phases. The Minister for Foreign Affairs and Tourism, Mr. Silvestre Radigonde, during a joint press brief with his counterpart from the Health Ministry, Mrs. Peggy Vidot, on Thursday, January 14, 2021, adduced reasons for the latest travel review. The objective of the meeting is, was primarily to look at the measures, ex existing measures for visit arrivals in, in the country and also look at how we can have new protocols to cater for visit arrivals that have been vaccinated. And the decision has been taken for us to immediately open Seychelles to all countries of the world, provided that the visitor, potential visitor, produces a, a vaccination, proof of vaccination, that is both doses, and two weeks after the second dose and also provides a 72 hour uh, neg PCR test, negative PCR test taken 72 hours before entry. This measure takes effect immediately. The second part of the measure to be effective from mid-March is to allow every visitor from all countries of the world to enter Seychelles, provided they can they can produce proof of a negative PCR test 72 hours before uh, traveling. The government of Ghana has rejected British Airways' plan to move the London Accra landing flights from Heathrow to Gatwick this summer. The Ministry of Aviation in a press release issued on Tuesday, January 19, 2021 said, the Ministry in a letter to the BA authorities rejected the changes and categorically informed British Airways that for the avoidance of doubt, we are unable to accept the change in the London Accra landing flights originating from Gatwick Airport. There's more news on www.voyageafrique.com and all our social media platforms. My name is Jason Amon.